Howdy everybody, good morning. How are y'all doing today? Ivan Conway here again. We did make an uh, eight minute video. I'm doing my damn just to make sure it's gonna be an eight minute video here, guys. Uh, it is um, <clears throat> August the 9th uh, here this morning and the uh, Monday, uh, August the 9th and uh, it just turned uh, 11 uh, 41 in the uh, morning there guys uh, right now and uh, 2021 and uh, so i've been awake now for uh, about uh, oh, an hour hour and a half going into two hours i guess uh went to sleep really late again last night i had no intentions to i was hoping to uh, get a early night's uh, sleep in and wake up much earlier than this and get on the go much earlier but uh, given the kind of routine that I normally live and what, what I'm accustomed to, it didn't quite play out that way. So anyway guys, um, there's no big real purpose for uh, this uh, video here again. Now this is a little message for my, um, all my um, Facebook boys here again now. I'm calling my Facebook boys, all those of you in, in my group that uh, uh, show interest in my uh, photos and uh, who have shown interest in uh, contacting me, you know. For whatever reason, whether it's to be friends or try to uh, get involved with me for more than that or whatever, uh, the fact that you're you have shown interest, you show interest, uh, is really, really, very uh, touching and um, flattering, guys. So this is a quick little message uh, for you here this morning now, and I hope to good God I can get it in in eight minutes. I should be able to. So uh, my agenda for the day here now guys, even though I would dearly love to get out to enjoy this gorgeous beautiful day that we were supposed to have rain today according to the forecast that uh, we got there three days ago, our ridiculously unreliable forecast that we constantly have here in Newfoundland where they can't get anything correct even a few days in advance and be majorly off to the point that you can have uh, weather the complete opposite. Uh, two or three days in advance for what, from what they were uh, forecasting a few days before. So we were supposed to have rain today guys and as I was just showing you we could not have a different day from what they were forecasting only two or three days ago. So uh, that means you know I've got a gorgeous day to get out and around but the thing I have to get out of the way today guys is that my uh, housemate is uh, the fellow that I'm sharing this house here with right now. This is a rental by the way guys I don't own my own place I'm renting the house that I live in and I'm sharing it with someone else as well. And uh, so my housemate is in his 70s, early 70s. I've touched on all this stuff in other videos I've made on. If you want to check out all my stuff on YouTube. And his health problems, uh, there's no end to them. Uh, he's overweight, he, you know, he's out of shape, he's got arthritis, he's got diabetes, he's got high blood pressure, he's got gout, all that. it just goes on and on and on, guys. And so anyway, something happened to him there last week. He was taken off to the hospital. I was only expecting him to be in for a day or two, because normally he only ever is when he's taken up to the hospital like that. But uh, this time it's gone into a full week. Uh, it was a full week there uh, yesterday, last night. <clears throat> and uh, so I need to get in now to see him, to find out what's going on. No, I have not been in to see him yet in an entire week. And that may sound horrible for me, guys, but uh, the, the, the uh, break from him now over the past uh, week or so has been a godsend for me. It's something I have desperately, desperately needed now for a very long time. So as cruel as it may sound, uh, I have needed that break from the depression and just the constant being exposed to sickness and illness and someone that uh, refuses to uh, get a handle on their health problems and to uh, help themselves out sort of thing. For all my Filipino boys who are so, so big on self-reliance and doing things for yourself, guys, you ought to 100% completely fully understand where I'm coming from there. I know I need to be understanding for someone's sicknesses and all the rest of it sort of thing, and I am to a very large degree, but I'm only human, guys, and I can only uh, handle so much and deal with so much and be exposed to so much on a regular basis, and then it starts getting to me. So anyway, so you know, I, I share this place here alone with this guy, and I don't have any other more positive, upbeat uh, influences in my life. So yes, of course, it gets to me, it gets me down, it drags me down, it upsets me, and so on and so forth. So anyway. That's a little bit of my backstory of my life here, the way I'm living currently. Uh, you know, I don't have the kind of hardships that a lot of you, uh, most of you Filipino boys uh, have. I say that because it's mostly the Filipino guys that are contacting me. 
so uh, I don't know what to say about that, guys. I mean, I live here in Canada. You guys live in the Philippines. It's a whole different setup. So I, I've never had to live that kind of lifestyle. But I, I have not had a life that's a bit of roses, guys. Far from it. And I don't have a life that's a bit of roses right now either. Uh, I have a certain level of comfort, yes, that's true, but it's something that could be taken away from me at the drop of a hat, you know, the, the snap of a finger, and uh, because I guess I don't own what I have, and uh, well, my possessions, but otherwise, I could lose half of that too, and uh, so, um, no, I, I, don't, I don't have the perfect idea of life far from it. So, part of the reason goes by I'm... Um, doing what I'm doing uh, and uh, being in this uh, group and so on of that is because uh, I'm trying to find my special someone guys, I really am. Um, somebody that uh, I can uh, build the rest of my life with and uh, get out of the rut that I'm in currently uh, and uh, hopefully that guy can uh, come here to Canada, uh, here to Newfoundland preferably because that's where I live here in Newfoundland here in St. John's and uh, between the two of us uh, build a life together sort of thing you know so i need to say uh, very early in this little video guys that uh, preferences uh, for anybody that wants to uh, get to know me beyond just friendship uh, will have to go to any guy that has a willingness to want to uh, come to canada and for all the right reasons to, to guys not to just get into the country and then leave me after the fact sort of thing you know, just saying, I mean, for anybody that might have those intentions, you know, it's a, I'll do everything in my power to help uh, a guy to get over here, but I mean, it's like, I want you to come here because you want to come for me and to build life with me and not have to have some way to get into the country, you know, so. But anyway, preferences will go for uh, someone like that. And uh, so, uh, uh, I just want to clear that up because when I'm getting so much interest and so, so many guys wanting to contact me, uh, unless you're willing to come to Canada and want to work with me to try to find a way to get over here, uh, building something with me beyond a friendship seems almost pointless. Okay, so so that's one thing there. Uh, uh, you know uh, that will be my preference for guys that uh, want to come to Canada to begin with. Um, also, guys, I want you to uh, know at this point now before I go into any further with my activities in this group sort of thing I am an older guy you can see here now I'm showing you my features now just as I uh, normally ha am before I get myself all freshened up and my beard dyed and all that so I don't like showing off my features this way guys I really don't because I'm extremely self-conscious about it I'm 56 years of age guys I turned 56 there just over co a couple months ago so yes I'm getting up there now in age and uh, so I have the gray, I have, you know, like the wrinkles in my face and so on, and I'm self-conscious about all that, guys, you know. So I don't like to show that off too much. So I do like to have my face, uh, the hair dyed up, the gray dyed up, and all the rest of it to try to project that younger image. So there's that. And uh, so if you're okay with that, we're fun and dandy. Now, along with having the gray, guys, I'm bald as well. So um, uh, this is why I wear caps all the time, because I don't like to be advertising that fact 